The ratio of the number that paid the piper this month to those that paid the piper last month was 12 to 5. Okay, so I'm going to say this month, T, to last month, L. The ratio from this month to last month is the same thing as 12 to 5. If there were 170 in all, wait a minute. Um, they didn't tell me anything about all. They said this month to last month. But if I were talking about the total, uh, that would be both months. So it would be uh, 17 people. I know that in my, in my actual group, it must be a much bigger group because it's 170. But in my little sample size, there were 12 that did it this month and five that did it last month. So in my little sample size, there were 17. Um, so what am I interested in? They're asking me about this month. Okay, so I'm going to create a new ratio. This month to, um, I guess, A for all. How about that? Because I can't use T for total. Isn't that awful? 17 all. So, so all. So that this month is 12. We know that from before. And we found that, that all of them were 17. In my little sample size, just in my little carved out sample, last time I, I think I did this, I had uh, 12 this month, and I had uh, 5 last month. So this month was a lot more than last month. But all together, all together is 17, so this is all. Okay, so anyway. Uh, and now they're going to tell me there were 170 in all. In all. So the 170 all goes on the bottom, right? Okay, so 170 goes on the bottom. And uh, then we're curious about how many paid the piper this month. So we're acknowledging, we know it's not really 17, it's really 170. So if it's not really 12, what is it really? Okay, so we're going to find out. And I think some of you probably already know, just looking at this, um, we're going to say 12 times 170 is equal to, uh, let me change colors here, we'll say uh, 17 times x. Okay, 17 times x. And you can, you can kind of see this coming as well. Let me change my color again. Oh, I don't know, blue, I guess. Uh, we'll divide by 17 because I want the X alone. And uh, 17, that's going to cancel. That's going to cancel with this 17. Give me a 1 with to go with that 0. I guess I'll put the 0 up on top. But 170 divided by 17 is 10, right? So now I have 12 times 10. That's 120. I add a 0 to the 12. And the 17 is gone, so x is equal to 120. And uh, so that must be how many there really are this month. Not in my little sample, but in my big population, um, it's 120. So, uh, you know, what I was talking about before is that it's 17 times 10 to make 170. So you'd probably figure that it'd be 12 times 10 to make 120. That's what I was talking about. You might be able to see it coming. Um, when it's an easy thing like multiplying by 10, it's a little easier to see things coming.